today, Michael Williams doing a quick tutorial. Somebody just asked about this wonderful plugin by uh, that was uh, in, uh, that was uh, this plug plugin is really really nice. Let me show you how to install this whole plugin so you can see how to get it working. So basically, I'm gonna go to the OBS group, recording my screen here so you can see. Uh, I just liked your comment, John. Andres, if that's how you say your name, Mr. Krause, wonderful plugin, man, cool. So uh, you're gonna go here and download the, the lower third. You're gonna click, uh, you're gonna click uh, right here, clone or download. Uh, download zip. And I'm just gonna put it here because I've already downloaded it. Okay. So I'm going to show this in folder, and I'm going to bring this up here so you can see it. It opened on my bottom monitor. So you go right here. I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to go to, for me, uh, let me go to my program files. Hold on real quick. And uh, uh, see program files. You can put this actually anywhere, but I'm going to put it in program files. And I'm going to go OBS Studio. All right. So I'm going to paste this in OBS Studio folder, right? And I'm going to paste it. Click Continue. And then I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to extract the folder here. So I'm extracting the folder. So cool. The folder's right here. You're going to click this, you're going to click in here, and you want to get to OBS Tools. You want to right-click on Tools, extract that folder there as well. After you extract the folder, go in here. You're looking for lower thirds. So when you add this to OBS, you have to add the control panel. So you want to click on Control Panel. It's going to open a window, a file. This is the file you want to open, and you want to copy this address, right? Now you want to go into OBS and let me turn this left side off so it doesn't get confusing. Uh, let me go here to uh, camera. There we go. You want to click on uh, tools. Oh, actually, you want to click on view, docs, and you want to put custom browser doc, right? And I already have a doc here called lower thirds. So I'm going to trash that just so you see. It's going to look like this when you first open it, right? So you want to name it lower third panel, right? And then you want to put the URL that we just copied from the other window, which would be the control panel, click apply. Now that pulls up the actual control panel. You want to dock this somewhere, somewhere you want to dock it. So let's say you dock it like down here, uh, right there. So there's my dock. And then obviously I'm going to move my audio over. And I can make this smaller. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. So now my dock is there. Right? So those are just random names that are there, which you can switch out on your own. Left, right. So now you want to add a new. This is my uh, sources right here. Let me put my scenes on the left so it's not confusing. There's my sources. So you want to add. And I'm, gonna make, I'm actually going to make my, my audio window a lot smaller. As small as I can get it. It's about as small as I can get it. Uh, right there. So now you want to add a new browser source, right? Now, and you want to click on lower thirds, right? And click OK. Now, here's where you have to navigate to a local file. So you're going to click on local file. You're going to browse for that file. And, I mean, you can paste the link here that you had before, right? And just erase the control panel.html so you can get to browser source. That's what you want. So you want browser source. So that's the one you want. You want to click uh, 1920 or whatever your width is of your of your uh, your output. Click OK, and there it goes. It shows up right here on the left hand side. So now you can put a name in there, and if I hit show, it'll show the name that I clicked on, and hide. And there's your animation. And obviously to transition it over, um, let me. Uh, let me put this, let me copy this and let me put it on my screen file. 
and I'm gonna turn uh, let me put this on the screen I'm gonna paste this here so you can see it work paste reference so you'll see the lower thirds right here I'm gonna move it down it's kind of hard to see because I'm like basically doing the screen capture when I transition this over you'll see the lower thirds right there let me add a color source too so you can see this let me add a color source uh, let's just use the black one yeah we'll click that okay click OK click OK my bad there we go um, and let me make that like that so you can see it move that behind lower thirds there we go and let me take the filter off of that let's turn that filter off for now close there we go so now you can see the lower thirds let me move this down right here so now when you go into your panel your lower thirds panel just type your name and title here, you know, and show. There you go. If you want to put it on the right side, you got to hit. And obviously, if you're going to move it to the right side, you got to have, you don't necessarily need a background. I'm just trying to show you how to, how to add it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I'm going to transition this over. So now you can see, you can hide it and you show it. And obviously, if you want to go to the left, hide it, show it. So that's it. So that's how you install it. So you want to add the custom dock here, and you want to source control panel. That's where you do this right here. And then you also want to add a browser source named Lower Thirds. And here is where you put the address to where I pasted the file and make it 1920. And if you... You know, make some changes. I can already see how to make changes to the text as well as the the um, the colors and the logos and all that. I'll probably do a tutorial, tutorial about that tomorrow. But it works really good. So congrats, uh, congrats on this. This is a great plugin. So thank you. Cool.